In today's pet segment, taking your dog to a dog park. There are a lot of them popping up around town. How do you know that your dog is ready for the dog park? And can you trust the other dogs there? Our certified dog behavioral therapist and trainer from Gerard Ranieri joins us now. But before we talk about the dog park, we have got to talk about this precious dog. This is Gabby. What a sweetie pie. Tell us about her. Gabby is a Havanese, okay? Mm -hmm. And Havanese are from Cuba. Okay. So they're Cuba's national, uh, na 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 their only natural dog there, a native dog to Cuba. Really? It's the only dog that, they've, that they have as a native. Oh. So well. it's, it's pretty neat. They're, they're very, very loving. This guy only weighs, she's a female, her name is Gabby, and she weighs right now about six and a half pounds. And they only grow to maybe, you know, top out at maybe 13, but she's full grown right now. Oh my goodness. So she'll and be between eight and 11, eight and 11 inches tall is what they grow. And, and her coat is absolutely as soft as it can be. Now here's the really good thing. It's, they're, they're double coated, so you have to brush them and uh -huh. do all that, but they are hypoallergenic. So if you have allergies, this is a great dog for you. Oh, absolutely, and, and this is pretty much as big as it's, she's gonna be. Yeah, some, some get a little bigger. I mean, some can get, like I said, uh, like 13 pounds is tops. She's only six and a half, seven. That's the low end. So she doesn't shed and? She doesn't shed, she's oh. a dream. And you know, she's not a barker. They're very smart dogs. You see her collar, she's got the yeah, little Yeah, she's got a little collar diva on. collar on. Yeah. Let's talk about the dog park. Sure. A lot of times, you know, people take their dog to the dog park and they think that their dog is friendly and then he gets around other dogs. Is, is there such a thing as dog park etiquette? There absolutely is in fact I have handouts about that and teach people how to you know when, when do you take your dog to the dog park why do you take your dog there one of the things I talk about with people is think about how dogs are in the wild they don't socialize with other packs mm -hmm. so it's not something that's natural for a lot of dogs mm -hmm. but dogs that are domesticated it could be okay to do that with mm -hmm. but you got to learn know, the first thing that I teach people is to know your dog and if they're aggressive at all don't bring them to a dog park to desensitize them. Mm. You need to work through that first before you go to the dog mm -hmm. park. And the thing of it is, is that you, you might know that your dog is okay to take, but can you really trust that other people know their dogs? Well, and that's one of the things I ask people to do is go to the dog park to observe first. Don't go in. First walk around the park, check things out, take it slow. Mm -hmm. There's no rush. You know, the dog is going to be excited, but you don't have to go in. Mm -hmm. So go there, check it out, see what people are doing. If they're hanging out watching, playing dominoes, and they're paying attention to their dogs, that's not a good sign. Mm -hmm. If the people are involved watching their dogs, then it's okay for you to get to, to bring their dog. You know, you want to make sure that they're watching their dogs. I mean, it's what it comes down to. Yeah, some people just kind of drop the dogs off and they start talking to other people and, and they're, they're not, not really watching. watching. Exactly. It's yeah. like, th I call it the welcoming committee. When you bring your dog in, there's like 12 dogs that approach you at the gate. Yes. And for some dogs, that's very intimidating and they can break out a fight immediately. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you should call your dog back if you're the one in there with your dog. If you have your dog in there, don't let them approach the other dogs. Yeah. You know, you're the pack leader, not the dog. Yeah, and so make sure and clean up after yourself. Just because it's a dog park doesn't mean that other people are going to clean up for you. Absolutely. You have to clean up after yourself. That's yeah. one of the rules there. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. But a lot, a lot of people do not follow it. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're oh, welcome. I just, I'm in love with this dog. She's great. She is absolutely the cutest thing. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All righty. Well, it took.